Hey my love, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mal and we are doing a full comparison of all of the best hazel contacts with no limbo ring. There are a lot that are my favorites. There are so many that are so beautiful, so it was really hard to narrow this down, but I tried to just keep it with my absolute favorites in terms of comfort, quality, style, and the overall look and feel. So I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know down below what color is your favorite. I have discount codes for pretty much every brand that I'm mentioning in this video. So don't forget to check the description bar if you want a little deal on your lenses. And let's get into this haul. Throughout the course of this video, my eyes did start getting a bit irritated. I mean, whose wouldn't after putting contacts in and out of your eyes multiple times so please just bear with me one of my favorites since i pretty much started wearing contacts has been hydrocore ochre you will see why when you see these clips because hydrocore ochre is absolutely beautiful these are without a doubt one of the most expensive contact lenses that you could probably get on the market but they also are the most natural in my opinion this color contact lens is considered like a brown on their website but they absolutely do not look brown they pull very hazel they're very light they're very bold and stunning they almost look a little bit gray on me they offer a really nice glow and a natural finish to the eye i feel like on the website they say they're perfect for a subtle enhancement to the eyes but these are not subtle at all these are bold these are bright and they're gonna make a big impact especially if you have dark eyes and dark features like myself so keep that in mind i love these though i they're so pretty especially like if i want to look really good if i want to take pictures but i will say with Stilatica yearly lenses they are thick they are thicker than usual in my opinion and so for that reason i have to be mindful of how long i really wear them for i typically can get away with wearing these for like five hours but anything more than that and i'm like dying to take them out so if you're looking for comfort, they may not be your first choice, but they're absolutely stunning. Now on the contrast, we have Polar Lights Brown. Polar Lights Brown is a very similar tone and shade. Obviously not quite as natural, but in terms of the color, it's pretty similar to Hydrocore Ochre. And this is a gorgeous hazel. This is from TTDI. These are also one-year lenses, but they're a fraction of the cost because they are only $30. So if you're looking for a more affordable dupe, then you could try these ones out. Now, I think the main thing with these ones is that the pupil is not quite as tight and it's definitely not as detailed and feathered as the Hydrocore Ochres. There's no comparison there. They do take forever to ship. I will say that about TTDI, like they're so affordable, but you basically have to order the lenses and forget about them because you're not gonna see those for at least a month. That's at least my experience, but the, I think the shipping is free if I'm remembering correctly, so it is what it is that being said for an affordable option they are beautiful so i don't know you have to let me know what you think about ttdi and i will say as well that their contacts are hit or miss for comfort they're usually okay i wouldn't say that they're like the most comfortable but they're not uncomfortable if that makes sense let's move on to another one that's sort of in that grayish hazel tone this is not a b by not a lens and if you've never heard of not a lens they have gorgeous contact lenses this is an arab brand and they make more luxury contact lenses but they're still pretty decently priced this is where you really see the difference in spending a little bit more on a contact lens i can't tell where the contact ends and where my art my eye starts i just think that they blend really seamlessly this is a gorgeous color i literally had to look up what some descriptions for hazel colors are but i'm gonna call this like a gorgeous mountain road hazel that's what the internet's telling me to call it so that's what we're gonna call it it's very beautiful and I really like Nauta Lens again. I just find their contacts so comfortable. Their customer service is amazing. And for being like a, a smaller brand, they're not like a huge, huge company. I just think, I don't know, they're doing something right. That's for sure. So the next one I'm gonna move on to is affordable option. This is actually leaning more towards a bit more of a brownish hazel. This is Echo Hazel from Just For Kira. And Echo Hazel from Just For Kira is really stunning. It actually has a bit of a two-tone effect. So you can see on the inner portion, you're getting more of that like brown hazel. And on the outer portion, you're getting a little bit more of a grayish hazel look. For 30 bucks, you're getting about 12 months of wear. So very, very affordable. And overall, I find Just For Cure lenses to be pretty good for comfort. Not the absolute most comfortable, but they definitely aren't uncomfortable by any means. I can wear these all day and feel good. And 
yeah, I just really like the way these look. I think one of the main contributing factors to me liking these is that they have a tighter pupil hole. But the only hang up with this is that the pupil is not really that diffused. Now in this particular color, I don't think it makes a big difference because they are kind of like that brownish hazel tone anyway. But if you were gonna go for like a bolder shade, then that might be a bit more noticeable, especially if your eyes are really dark. I like Echo Hazel for when I want a bold yet natural look, if that makes sense. Let's move on to sort of a brand that I feel like you may not know about. This one is from Lorans, and this is Cadet Caramel. I purchased my Lorans lenses from Adisat, the website. I will link all of the links for where I usually purchase these down below. So if you like these and you're like, where the heck can I get these? Don't worry, check the links. But this color, so, so, so pretty. It is the perfect blend of like that caramel tone, that hazel. It's soft, it's diffused, it has feathering. The pupil is not too big, not too small. And overall, I just think these are an amazing natural looking contact. I would actually put them up there with how natural Solotica looks, but these are very comfortable. The only downside with these ones is that they did not have a lot of prescription options. So for, um, you know, someone who might need a higher prescription, they may not have them. I was actually very sad. I couldn't even get these in my prescription, but I wanted to order them and show you them for the video because I think they are such a beautiful option. And if you like the way Lauren's contacts look, I did a whole video on Lauren's contacts, which I'll also put in the description bar. So check it out if you want to see more of the beautiful shades that Lauren's makes. Let's move on because we're going to jump back into another luxury brand, Solotica. Solotica Hydrocore Avella is another absolutely stunning shade that I fell in love with years and years ago. And it's actually so similar to Hydrocore Ochre to me, but these ones do pull a little bit more on like the caramel brown side. Hydrocore Avella is a beautiful hazel tone. I feel like it has that warm like antique gold tone. Still very bright and very bold, especially on me. I feel like these look like an intense color but these ones i feel like i can wear a little bit more easily on a day when i'm not like super done up if we were to compare them i think a really great dupe for those is desire honey by otaku and otaku lenses does some amazing high quality contacts that have very similar looks to Solotica lenses. But the downside with Otaku is most of their lenses aren't available in prescription. Desire Honey is a warm hazel brown tone. I feel like it really is very sweet and luscious in your eyes. It has no limbal ring, of course, but you get some beautiful detailing and feathering in that lens. I wanted to mention that when it comes to contact lenses as well, and I'm gonna use Desire Honey as an example because when you look at them, you're like, okay, they're a great dupe for Avella. They're more affordable. But I really want you to focus on breaking down the math because if you look at this lens, which is about, let's just say, I'm going to say $55 Canadian, and I divide that by six months of wear, that gives me about nine, yeah, it's about $9 a month for the contact lenses. And if I compare that to, say, Hydrocore Vela, which is about 120 Canadian, and then I divide that by 12 months, is ten dollars a month so really they're not really affordable you're just not getting as much time you're not making the initial investment up front i don't know it's just something that i've noticed because i buy so many different contacts i wear so many different contacts and i think that sometimes we get tricked into thinking that a more affordable price point really is affordable when it's not so anyway desire honey is gorgeous though and they're a great option if you want something other than Solotica for a similar color. Let's move on to one of my favorite affordable brands that's recently kind of popped up. Dimple Color has been making the most natural, beautiful lenses, and I love Toasted Honey. I would describe Toasted Honey as like this warm, rich, toasty brown, and it looks so beautiful. It does have like a subtle hint of a greenish undertone on me, but it is definitely leaning more towards that like caramel brown color. And I think this is a very natural contact. It blends really seamlessly with your eye color. When it comes to comfort, Dimple Color is one of my favorites, but the only downside with this particular collection, this is the Lunar collection, they look so natural, but their pupil diameter is a little larger. Honestly, that doesn't really bother me because they're just so comfortable and I really like the color. So yeah, Toasted Honey is one of my favorites. If you haven't checked out Dimple Color, I highly recommend it. Let's move on to another that is an amazing affordable option. This is Color CL Sugar Brown, and Sugar Brown is one of my all-time favorite lenses. 
which you will see why because it is so beautiful and not only is it beautiful it is so incredibly affordable literally with my discount code you can get these for about 18 dollars and that will last you for six months of wear. That is $3 a month for these lenses, and they have prescription up to negative eight, which is higher than most brands offer. For being such an affordable brand, they have the most beautiful detailing, feathering. I think this lens just looks so natural, and although it's called sugar brown, I really do feel like it's more leaning towards that like palm leaf kind of hazel tone. It is not really that brown. This is personally a color that I will always reorder when they expire. I just think they're so beautiful and natural and I've been wearing them for years. So I highly recommend checking out Sugar Brown from Color CL. And if you want to know what I feel like is a good high-end version of that, it would be LA Mocha from Anesthesia. I love Anesthesia lenses as well. They are very comfortable. They are more luxurious. They definitely give you a little bit more when it comes to the detailing. And LA Mocha is almost identical to Sugar Brown. I always get my Anesthesia lenses from Lens.me. They're an online retailer and they sell so many different brands. And I'm actually looking at their website now and it says that Anesthesia LA Mocha is number six out of all their lenses in their best selling hazels. So I feel like that says a lot. Clearly a lot of people love them. LA Mocha is giving you that luxury price point for two lenses, six months wear. They are about $80, that's Canadian prices. So they are more on the high end, but I just feel like sometimes when it comes to certain things and contacts is one of them, you get what you pay for. For an extremely natural look, I think LA Mocha is an amazing option. And those are the ones that I'm actually wearing right now. They are one of my favorites. I feel like my vision is very clear when I wear them. They look amazing. They feel very comfortable. So yeah, I highly recommend these as well. Let's get into some comparisons now because I wanna show you some detailed comparisons with all of the lenses that I've tried side by side. Pause if you need to, because this is going quick, but these are my three favorite hazels without a limbo ring. I think they're so gorgeous. I'm next gonna show you Hydrocor Ochre, Avella. In between these, I'm gonna go for Cadet Caramel because it's the most comfortable in my opinion. But we last have Polar Lights Brown versus Hydrocor Ochre and Nada B. These are all gorgeous, but Nada is the most comfy. Okay, so all 10 pairs have been shown. You guys have seen the comparisons. I'd love to know what your favorite hazel was. Honestly, all of these are my favorites, so it would be really hard to go through and say my absolute, absolute favorites. But I do feel like the lens that has the best value is Sugar Brown from Color CL. So if you like that color, I highly recommend checking them out. And I also really love how comfortable dimple color lenses are. So Toasted Honey is one that I just tend to reach for a lot on my day-to-day -day basis. I feel like I can wear them. I don't need to have my makeup done. I don't really need to think about like what I'm going to look like that day. I can just put those in and know that I'm going to feel confident and beautiful in them and not have to worry about taking them out later because they're really comfortable. So that's kind of my reason for picking those two as my favorites, but I'd love to know what your favorites are. Let me know in the comment section down below if you found this video helpful. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to check out the description with all the links and coupon codes for each of these websites. If I forgot any from this video that you think are the best hazel, I would love to know what they are so that I can one day get them. I like to respond to my comments, so if you have questions, leave them down below. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. Single on the body, buddy. Take on the body, buddy.